electronic device holder. Put your iPad or whatever right there for GPS, and then it opens up and turns into a storage box. So basically, this fits right on the dash, just like that. So you put two bolts right here with nuts on the back, and then two kind of wood looking screw, wood screw looking things right here and here. Show you right quick how to put this on. So basically, you're gonna have, you, you need to remove this little center console area. So you can pop it back um, very gently, it, it does pop out. So you kind of pull it out and then you push down on it. And the downward motion will undo these little tabs. Pretty simple. Then it, let it hang out of the way. And when you line up your uh, device holder, you drill your holes right there and there. Then you can get to the bottom where the nut would go down here. Then pick it up out. Drill your holes back here for your bolts. Up front, you want to drill like just small little holes, just so the wood screw looking screw will actually start. Heat the sticker and peel it off at the same time that'll help it come off a little bit easier and you can use some alcohol or acetone or something to clean the glue off and then it'll be nice and clean and when you take a paint pen or a sharpie and mark your little holes it's easy to find what Can-Am is really good at is there's little dimples right here already made to where you would drill your hole. I was the law. Once you realign it, it lines right up with the dimples. So it's easy just to drill a small little hole. A T30 torque. I advise to put all the wood screws in by hand so you can kind of feel them. They're not a wood screw, but they're wood screw style. And this is a 1364th drill bit. It, the bit is just big enough for the screw to start, but enough meat on it for it to grab. And that's why I say put it in, in by hand. You could even put a little RGB glue on the screw when you put it in. It'll kind of guarantee it's gonna lock in there. Uh, an easier way to do it is drill your little divots out, put these screws in, and then when you put it on, it's all lined up. Then you can, you can drill in like straight down right here, or you could mark it and then drill it. Just a forewarning, this is not fully sealed. Uh, it's very, very tight, but you could splash and water could get inside there and it would get your phone wet if it's inside there. So you could take like some gasket glue, RTV, some silicone, something like that. Take the little compartment off, glue all the way around on the bottom of it, and then set it on there carefully and re-screw it down and it would seal up to where it's, you know, pretty much watertight, but your charge is your charger port is still inside there and when you close it up there's a hole right here on the bottom that's where the charge cable can come through and charge your device your ipad tablet whatever you're using also they give you some foam you can set the foam in here here and up in here so it'll have a little foam grab around the device and keep it you know nice and snug you basically put your device in undo this little wing nut thing you know, adjust the height to whatever height you need, like that, and then you squeeze it down and tighten it back up, and then seal it up. So that's an awesome little Can-Am electronic device holder. Just makes things a little bit simpler. Carry your device, watch your GPS, and all that kind of good stuff. And you got more storage here, and here, and over there. You got storage for days in this thing. <laughs>